Samsung Galaxy S8 is Samsung's answer to a couple of questions. Number one, will Samsung make a comeback from the Galaxy Note 7 fiasco? And they sure have here with a new industrial design, with improved software, and a battery that does not explode. We can put the dangerous phone worries to rest here. What you get here is a beautiful smartphone that is really the complete package without many faults. This is Nick here helping you to master your technology. Let's review the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. Let's go. Firstly, let's get the internals out of the way here, and here is what matters in terms of specs. The Galaxy S8 Plus comes with a 6.2 inch 1440x2960 QHD Super AMOLED display dubbed Infinity Display by Samsung marketing team, a 12 megapixel camera that shoots in at 4K, 4 gigabytes of RAM with an Snapdragon 835 or Exynos 8895 chip depending on which phone you go with the international or US variant, and 3500 milliamp hour battery in an industry first. Bluetooth 5.0. So let's talk for a minute about that hardware and design. The Galaxy S8 brings a all new design with smooth edges, a black front on all models and pretty much an all screen design. It also incorporates glass on both the front and the rear and a questionable fingerprint scanner, which although located in an unfamiliar spot, I easily adjusted to it and found it to be quite quick and accurate. Also, this design includes the heart rate monitor, but the real star of the show here is that infinity display. The infinity display is Sam Samsung's marketing label for what is actually an 18 by 9 aspect ratio display, which is narrower than our past 16 by 9 display smartphones. And what this means is that you have a very tall display with narrow bezels allowing for a smaller phone body with a large display so this phone is easily manageable. The display itself incorporates the same technology Samsung has been showing us for the past couple of years with their Edge phones which began with the Note Edge a few years back. But here on the Galaxy S8 and Galaxy S8 Plus, it's better than ever as the edges cover most of the front body of the phone, making for the most immersive smartphone display the world has ever seen. Along with the new aspect ratios and the immersive experience, the Samsung Galaxy S8 series incorporates the sharpest and most color accurate displays on any smartphone right now. And and won the award by DisplayMate as the best display, and rightfully so, as this phone packs a 2960 by 1440p resolution, pushing both S8 and S8 Plus over the 500 ppi threshold, making for an extremely dense panel. And combine this with the deep blacks and punchy colors of the AMOLED technology, and not to mention the tweakability of this display, and you're surely looking at a screen that will surely please you for years to come. And just for some bonus points, this is all wrapped in Gorilla Glass 5. Moving on, on the software side of things, Samsung has packed in the usual abundance of features at the expense of slightly slower animations and a few stutters here and there for this Samsung Experience 8.1. Speed isn't everything, folks, as the Galaxy S8 comes loaded with just about every feature that is conceivable on a phone from a bevy of themes located in the Samsung theme store to all the iris scanning technology to the ability to punch up colors with Samsung's video enhancer features. Along with that, Samsung's very efficient and highly functional Samsung Pay mobile system is back. Plus with that, you get Android Pay on this phone as well. All these features are just some to name a few. We could spend an hour talking about this as this smartphone includes pretty much everything in the kitchen sink, but we will cover that in an upcoming full in-depth review. So subscribe to the channel to be notified when that drops. All in all, this is a touch was experience with an updated look, new icons, and many of the Samsung classic features we've come to know, such as multi-windows, such as one-handed mode, swipe to take a screenshot, and all S8 models include the edge panels. As Samsung has ditched a flat panel smartphone for the S line this year, this all is layered on top of Android 7.0 Nougat, which works behind the scenes to keep this phone running efficiently. Overall, my experience with the phone has been efficient and fast and will surely not disappoint even if if there is some slight delay from time to time on animations. Switching gears, let's talk about the battery life on the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. So my test phone here does come equipped with a 3500 milliamp hour cell with a combination of Android Nougat's battery optimizations as well as Samsung's included options to go ahead and tweak the display to scale to whichever resolution that you would like. This easily made this an all day battery life phone. And this phone is definitely not one that will leave you looking for a charger early in your workday. But if you do need one, you can go ahead and top up quickly with the included USB-C fast charger that comes included with the purchase of your smartphone.
Moving on to the cameras. Well, this is a spot on your Samsung Galaxy S8 that if you're an S7 or S7 Edge owner, that you're not going to see drastic upgrades here. As this is the camera that is the same camera that was found in the S7 series. It is a 12 megapixel F1.7 dual pixel Sony sensor with OIS and blazing fast autofocus. This camera takes excellent photos, so it surely won't disappoint you, but it's not a camera that is drastically upgraded. Now, the front is is a different story and has been upgraded to feature an 8 megapixel camera with it too having a 1.7 aperture and this shoots up to 2k resolution but enough talking about the cameras take a look for yourself and you be the judge of the quality here Now, performance of the Samsung Galaxy S8 is something that needs to be great for a device of this caliber, and it surely has been. With the Snapdragon 835 and my variant, this phone can easily handle anything you throw at it, including some of the heaviest games, and all this makes for an incredible experience matched with the beautiful design of the Galaxy S8 Plus. Although I should point out from time to time, there is an animation twitch, and multitasking isn't the best I have seen on a smartphone, but overall, the performance is acceptable indeed. Ah, Bixby. So there's that new assistant that no one really asked for, and that is the Bixby Assistant. That shows everything for your day, similar to Google Assistant, but Samsung has decided to ship the Galaxy S8 series of phones without the voice part included at launch, so I will have to update my thoughts on this soon. But for now, this button definitely has annoyed me more than a few times. For one, that keeps getting in the way of my volume down button, so not the best position for it, but there is a way to remap it to Google assistant which I will cover in a separate video. So admittedly so, I am not the biggest expert when it comes to audio quality, but being that I am coming from the S7 series of smartphones, I can tell you that this speakerphone improves on the loudness and sound over the prior S7, which seemed to sacrifice sound for its IP68 certification. Now in terms of audio quality that comes from the headphones, if you have a great pair of cans, the audio sounds great. Speaking of headphones, you might be wondering, are those AKG included headphones any good? And I can tell you from my experience they have sounded pretty nice for a pair of free headphones and definitely better than what I've seen from other manufacturers in the past so overall the audio experience while not the best out there offers a solid enough all-around experience to satisfy most who will be purchasing a Galaxy S8 device so what good is all these features on a Galaxy S8 if it cannot make a good phone call? And this is an area that the S8 surely does not disappoint with the included HD voice, the fancy slide to make a call, and other Samsung enhancements. The Galaxy S8 Plus makes for a fantastic phone, and with the narrow bezels on both the top and the bottom, it doesn't feel like a phone that is as large as 6.2 inches would lead you to believe. Furthermore, reception held strong, and I have had no complaints from callers saying they could not hear me. With all the applications and everything that you do on your Samsung Galaxy S8, you're going to need the storage. Thankfully, every Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus is shipping with 64 gigabytes internal storage as a standard with expandable memory of up to 256 gigabytes, making for easily enough storage for most people. So storage woes are a non-issue here for the Galaxy S8 series. All right guys, so let's wrap this review up with some final conclusions. Who is the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus or S8 IV? The Samsung Galaxy S8 embodies a phone that truly can appeal to pretty much everyone. It comes loaded with features such as great cameras, water resistance, large edge displays, and some of the most innovative tech along with the phone, such as the Gear VR and Samsung DeX. This also does come in two size variants that will appeal to both the person who wants a portable device and the person who wants a phablet design. With an ultra new design and industry leading display, the smartphone leader Samsung has a true winner here in the Galaxy S8, even if there are a few questionable decisions that Samsung has made here, such as the half done Bixby at launch, the questionable inclusion of the same camera, the fingerprint scanner location, and the fact that the phone just doesn't feel as fluid and fast as other smartphones on the market due to the software skin on top. Still, what you get here if you decide to pick up the Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus is 
a phone that does pretty much everything you can ask a phone to do. And now there are really only two things you need to ask yourself. Do you like and are willing to use the Samsung experience along with Android's ecosystem? And number two, your own personal preference as to whether or not you like the design and the Edge phones. But that pretty much wraps it up here for me. Please post your comments down below, share this video with a friend, and if you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up button. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well. I will catch you all in the next one and peace.